you walk in the front door, <coughs> you're looking down on the great room, straight out onto the lake and the mountains across from you. And it takes your breath away. <coughs> it's a very regal property. But at the same time, it's genuine warmth. It's very timeless. The lodge is a majestic haven on the shores of one of New Zealand's most beautiful lakes in an area rich with history. We've always had tourism in Glenorchy since the 1800s and farming, gold mining, shelight mining. I think the area that we're in it was originally settled by some really hardy individuals. It's a tough area. You're in the elements. All the old wall sheds and all the shearing was done right beside the lake so that the wool could be picked up by the boats. And it was hot, so they put these blankets to shade the sun off them. Hence, Blanket Bay. The land was bought over 50 years ago by an American couple who fell in love with New Zealand. But it wasn't until 1998 that construction began standing on this site when there was nothing here but a bit of bush and bracken they realized how much of a special spot it was the building itself it exudes lodginess if that's a word <coughs> we've got <coughs> mat eye flooring throughout this building the massive bridge beams that have come from the steamers wharf in queenstown or rail bridges a lot of the stone that was used in it was quarried on site you look at it now and, and you wouldn't know how old it is really and in another 20 years i'll look a bit older and it'll probably look just the same <laughs> when the lodge opened a lot of people from glenorchy got jobs here and i started off just as a um, housekeeping person and then within a couple of months i became the housekeeper somebody left and I just started doing flowers. My children are fourth and fifth generations of this area. My daughter worked here for a few days, and my son even came one day and did some dishes here. <laughs> we are responsible for employing about a quarter of the community, and there are a number of staff that have been here since the lodge opened. Their children have then gone on to work here. And so we do have quite a big impact on what goes on in, in Glenorchy. Yeah, I trust you, Maricel. <laughs> I'll do as you say. I'll do as you suggest. Hospitality's come naturally. I think it's got to be part of your soul, part of your spirit. Guests are what make this place operate. It's a big, beautiful building. But without the people and without their stories or their energy, it really is just a lovely big building. Good to see you. Hello, my good. How are you, my dear? Oh, good. Oh, how are you, Woody? Good day, Woody. How are you? Look, I was just saying, if you can't make it to the west coast, we'll.